In today's world, masturbation is a sensitive but very common topic. Medical research shows that most men and many women will experience masturbation at some point in their lives. So is it harmful or beneficial to the body? Let's take a closer look from a scientific perspective. First, from a physiological standpoint, moderate masturbation usually does not cause any direct harm to the body. Studies have found that masturbation can help release dopamine and endorphins, the chemicals associated with pleasure, relaxation and a sense of well-being. For people who are stressed or anxious, moderate masturbation may even help relieve tension and improve sleep quality. In addition, for men's health, some studies have found that regular ejaculation may be linked to prostate health. Large-scale epidemiological studies suggest that men who ejaculate more frequently each month may have a slightly lower risk of developing prostate cancer. This does not mean that more is always better, but it does suggest that moderate sexual release might have some protective effects for the prostate. However, there are potential downsides if masturbation becomes excessive or develops into psychological dependence. Some people may experience local discomfort, skin irritation, or even anxiety and guilt if they feel they are losing control over the behavior. This can create a negative psychological cycle and affect mental well-being. Another concern is the frequent use of explicit materials. In today's digital age, many people rely on videos or images during masturbation. Over time, this constant exposure to highly stimulating content may desensitize the brain's reward system, making real-life sexual experiences less exciting or satisfying. Some psychological studies have suggested that over-reliance on pornography may reduce sexual satisfaction and contribute to performance issues for certain individuals. From a medical perspective, masturbation itself is not a disease, nor does it directly damage health. Moderate masturbation can help relieve stress, improve sleep, and may even support prostate health. The key point is balance. As long as it does not interfere with daily life, work, relationships, or mental health, there is generally no need to worry. But if someone finds that the frequency is too high, or experiences anxiety, guilt, or sexual dysfunction, it is advisable to seek help from a doctor or mental health professional. That is the scientific perspective on masturbation and its effects on the body. The goal is to provide facts, not judgment, so that people can understand this topic with clarity and rationality.